Hey guys, it's Neymar and today we will learn how I created this Dune movie poster photo manipulation. If you're following this channel for a while, you already know that science fiction is my favorite genre, so everything from books, movies, TV series, I really love to consume. And also because there is a new Dune movie coming out and the trailer is already out, I was inspired to create something on that topic. And another thing, the main hero in this photo is my really good friend Dushan and his one of his favorite movies is Dune and he actually asked me to create this for himself to be able to print it out and put in his apartment. So basically this is done for my friend Dushan. Also, because this took me around seven to eight hours to create this photo manipulation, this will not be step-by-step -step tutorials, obviously, because of a lot of 3D involved here, but it will be like a breakdown, speed up thing and I will comment on the way what I did there. So enjoy the video. First thing that I did here is to choose a proper background for my photo manipulation because background already will define the lights and perspective and then I jumped into Cinema 4D and I created this sandworm. I created two versions of them. I will not show the whole process because it's time consuming but I made these worms with the possibility to open and close them out so I can make different versions of them. As you can see right here I can open and close mount in different ways which is awesome. Then I render them out, put it in Photoshop and just masked out where they are supposed to be. Then I went and uh, took a photo of my friend Dushan, really simple outside on the street photo. I extracted him out of the background and placed him into Photoshop and tried to blend him a little bit more into the sand. Then as you can see right here I used another photo with the sand trails and put them on the current uh, sand just to make the impression that Dushan, the main, uh, main main hero here, actually walked through that place where he is standing right now. And also I used the same shadow but modified a little bit uh, the angle uh, with the puppet work tool. It was really easy and simple process and positioned it there. Also what I did here is smooth in the edges and draw a few other lines here and there just to match them a little bit better and also a uh, shadow from the stick, put everything below the model into multiple blending mode and that's it. Then I decided to create another stick instead of that cardboard stick that uh, Dushan temporarily hold. So this is again really simple and easy process in Cinema 4D. You can see the whole process here, just one cylinder and few modifications here and there and one cube to make the top of it and that's basically it. Here I imported the photo of the model just to match the position and the uh, light settings and uh, just did a few tweakings here and there and rendered this stick out and then positioned it into Photoshop of course. I just did a few last minute modifications to the top of the stick and uh, changed the material and this is basically it. Now that I'm still in Cinema 4D, I decided to create one more thing. This is some kind of a weapon or a tool, like a pulse tool, pulse weapon, that is basically meant for calling out the worm from the sand. It's uh, meant to be put it on the sand and it will hit the sand in certain intervals and that will basically call out the worm. So I just use a few reference from the internet and you cannot see that because it's on my second screen. But basically, I just look at the reference and try to create something similar. So I will let you now enjoy this process.
Then I rendered it out and brought it back into Photoshop and put it on the model's back. I draw just a few ropes with the brush tool and added bevel and emboss just to add highlights on the left side. And that's basically it. It's really nice fit on his back. Also, I add a noise on the gray, 50% gray layer to all 3D elements uh, in uh, soft light blending mode just to introduce a little bit more noise to really clean 3D elements. Also here, as you can see, I just added a few scratches and the dirts on that gun or tool, however you want it. And I introduced the stick here in the scene too. So basically it's really simple blend, just put it a stick instead the cardboard stick and draw the shadow and modified the shadow on the foot and down below the stick and that's basically it. Also I decided to put something on his right hand. So I tried to draw some kind of rope. So after a few attempts, trial and errors, I just draw something that looks like some kind of a rope. And uh, this is basically it modified, added a layer mask so to have the impression that he's actually holding it, copy it and just uh, transform it a little bit to act as a shadow on the ground. So really, really simple and easy process. Then I use my custom-made cloud smoke dust brush to create effect like there is a lot of dust and smoke from the sand around the worms because they are basically uh, coming from the ground out to the surface. Also I introduced some debris there and for that I use my custom-made brush that you can purchase on my website for just one dollar if you want. You can find the links down there in the description. Also. Uh, I used another custom-made debris brush, as you can see right here, to add some kind of debris and also to draw some kind of a sand is leaking out of the worm mouth and uh, from the body just because he is coming from the underground and basically there will be some sand leaking from him. I just wanted to make that kind of impression, I loved it, so this is it. Also, I did the same thing for the other worm. I just painted some sand that is coming down from his body and a uh, few debris around his body. And from now on, I also painted some smoke dust around the worm. So I will now let you enjoy this process. Then I decided to paint the inside of the worm's mount into red because it seems a little bit more natural than to be the same color as the outside part of the worm. So basically I did that on a several separate layers in a several blending modes. So I used color blending mode, color burn blending mode, just experimented here and there and painted that with uh, this darker reddish tone. And for me this is much better effect than to have exactly the same tone as the outside part of the worm. Also I did the same thing for the outside part of the body just to make everything a little bit more interesting. Then I decided to paint even more dust, even more debris in the scene again to make more dynamic here and there and this is again just uh, painting using my custom-made dust cloud smoke brushes on the separate layers and also my custom debris brushes and uh, just having fun with that. When I was happy with the result, I merged everything into one layer and went to camera raw filter just to do a final color grading here. Mm -hmm. 
also I use Nikola FX Pro to add additional details in the scene and this is it.